Hey, Steve. What's happening? <laughs> What's happening, Steve? What's happening, Steve? Fan, 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 fan. <laughs> What's happening with Steve? Episode, I have no clue which one it is because I just shoot these motherfuckers. But, uh, yeah, I'm in here with Uncle Wax. You know, he, he was looking away. But, yeah, Uncle Wax, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and speak to the mic and tell, tell the world you're at and all that. You know what I'm saying? Right quick. Uh, Uncle Wax, two X's. Um, yeah. Uncle Wax, U N C L E. At Uncle Wax with two X's though, all regular spell except at X. My everything. Sorry, yes, sir. What's good with you, my guy? What you been on? Where you been at? I know you was, you know what I'm saying. We moved away, or you've been working in Austin for a little bit. Well, you know, not moved away, but you know. I just been chilling, bro. Um, going from mainly Austin and Houston for shows and shit. Mm -hmm. But um, that's what I meant because you've been doing shows pretty much all year, like. Really going crazy all year. I've been trying, bro. I told myself this year was going to be the year I really just did any and every single show I had an opportunity to do. So that's my main goal is to just do any and everything that I can. Well, that's good because a lot of people don't do shows nowadays. They, uh, they're like, you know, people do, but a lot of people that Mm-mm. wolf on the internet don't do shows. So no, yeah, I get unless you you're really out here, it's like people don't really book shows, and and that's that's crazy. A lot of people to me. face card ain't good, like. And if bro, the thing is, I feel the face card ain't good thing, but honestly, that shit ain't even the most like important shit. The the most important shit is to just get out in front of niggas. You can send your shit to niggas all day. Niggas no, don't that's really facts. don't yeah, give a people, fuck about bro, that. People don't give you get a fuck in front of a nigga that. though, and they enjoy what you just did on stage, they can't deny that. That shit is super important. Because you you can be as talented as you want to. But that stage presence is a motherfucker. I be telling sure. people that. Like, you could be a talent. If you ain't got no stage presence. If you ain't got no stage presence or if you just don't go do it. Like, you got to. Honestly, bro, doing shows takes a certain level of hu- of uh, humility because you're not going to. Ha- you're not finna have a packed out show, bro. You're no, not. I already know. I don't be yeah. the. I did many shows. I, I, I was in the wall. Exactly. Those be my favorite I'm ones. Not, I'm not now, talking to you. I'm talking to oh, them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm saying I, I'm basically I'm saying I feel you. Because to, to me, that was like practice. Like, right. like, this is just like, this ain't the game. This is like, it's like a scrimmage. It's, it's, I'm still I'm still in the right. game, but it ain't the same. But I can try, I can try shit right. on this, these little shows. I can try different shit and be like, oh, that didn't work. Right. Sound and, systems be poo sometimes. And yeah, after, after uh, South By is when I really made the decision of, okay, I'm doing any and every single Most thing. Be fun, because I did, it, they do be fun, but they was more fun when you was doing them, bro, honestly. Now, like, South By is, if you really, like, in the know, South By is, like, known to, like, it's not as crazy as it used to. Oh, yeah, but bro, it was fun when I, yeah, you're right. Yeah, right. it was more fun when you did it. But that's the thing. Like, yeah, I know it's not the same look that it used to be, but, but you it's more practice. Shows, it's, it's more, I, I had some good shit, ones, but yeah. it was more practice than I would have got not doing them hoes, you know what I'm saying? I would have <laughs> been at home like, oh, that oh shit, yeah, that I could do that. that fire. Yeah, I could have, I've been there South by, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, <laughs> that's how people be, bro. It, on me. But you not, you, you ain't been there, got that bro, repetition. You ain't did it all the time, yeah. 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 Nigga, you gotta, niggas do gotta a South do by and then don't do another show for the rest of the year type shit. Nah, bro, you can book shows and do your own little tour, like, People don't know we live in Texas. That shit big, bro. Like you, can, you can get bro, bread and just look, straight look, Texas look, and not have to go that's nowhere. That's the main thought that I've had lately. After doing the shows and getting the feedback that I've gotten, I'm like, okay, look, I want to be, I want to be huge enough to do literally whatever I want to, whenever I want to. You literally use Texas as a platform for my though. sister's school. The, the, those are the things that I want to do. If I can, if I it, and. If I can take the money, let's say by the time shit pop off, my sisters has already got their degrees or already mm-hmm. went on their path in life. Whatever money I would have had to put in their school, I want to be able to provide them. So if I can do whatever I want to when I want to and give my sisters bread, bro, I think Texas is so fucking big and bro, all the song, all it. the towns feel, and I'm not going to... I don't know 100% sure about all the towns, but I'm from fucking Killeen. So yeah. I know if we got talent and we feel a certain way, like, yo, we would support certain big artists if they came through this. So I can go through so many Texas towns we ain't never heard of and go sell out a show and get a those bag be the, those like, be Yeah, those would be the shows. Yeah. I don't have been on the road and deal, especially like West Texas, all the little Bruh. the football towns. Yep. Them hoes a little be packed I out. I feel like I can. I ain't I, got I, nothing shaking. And you in like your own genre. Matter of fact, I'm glad we bring yeah. that up. So like, what genre is your shit? 
Because I don't know. I want to put it in a genre. I don't, I don't want to. It's just like some that's, stuff. Look, like, that's exactly. In a good that's, way. That, you know no, what I'm saying? That's like, what I want it to bad, be. Like, just no, some stuff. That's, that's what I want it to be, though. I just want it to be some shit. Some like, secret of the ooze. Like, 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 hey, shit. what kind of music you make? Hey, he makes some shit. Yeah, like, he just <laughs> makes some shit. Like, I don't. Because yeah. every time I put people on you, I just be like, man, I don't know, bro. You just got to hear them. Yeah, I don't. Because I'm like, it's not like conscious rap. It's not backpack rap, but it's not. It's super con- surface level, but it's yeah, like, but it's, it's not, like, but I'm like, but it's not that. It has, hear it. it has major elements yeah, of it just has like a whole reps, bunch of elements, and it got shit. major elements of just some down south smoke a blunt shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, you know, some currency shit, all that. Like it's exactly. like a little. That's the main. That's why I'm like, I can't really put my finger on it. It's like it, that's my main goal, bro. Just some cool ass shit to not be. Uh, I call it wavy to be honest. I just be like it's just some wavy exactly. shit. Exactly, exactly. They don't know that Max B is a major. I'm yeah. a big, big <laughs> Max B me? fan. So, so that's if you call the, that's my shit wavy, what I, mean. I appreciate that's it. why I say wavy is because of Max B. You already know. I fuck so, with that. That's that's, that's the only I, thing. I, I, I literally that's why I tell people though. You know what? You might have just helped me come up with a with a with a with an answer and a goal. If niggas ask me what my genre is or what I want bro, to that's be, the, like what's really what I tell is, everybody. I just want my shit to be wavy, bro. Because <laughs> if you wavy, wavy's forever. Everybody bro. always want to ride waves. Come on, man. Some people Max, ain't got that surfboard ready, though. Bro, you know Max saying? B got Get songs. Ready, Max B got songs to beats that you would never assume a nigga made songs to. Like, uh, uh, bro, even the sound quality don't even be like super. It's that not, shit it's just not be even wavy. super good. It bro, it's not wavy. good. Fucking um, American Boy by Estelle. Max B rapped on that. Nigga's not rapping on that. At the end of my career, I literally want to be able to go make jazz music. I want to be able to go make fucking. See, that's what I'm saying. Shit's wavy. Being wavy means music. somebody can like hook a band and like play it. And yes, that, a lot of bad can play your shit. Because I, I appreciate and I fuck with everything. So I don't want to box myself into one thing. So. Yeah, no, nah, because there's been studio sessions that you booked with me and we tried shit all day. Yeah, and I didn't and get like, shit done. Yeah, but day. we tried some shit and then you should, like the be, be responsible shit, you kept that shit. And that, that little shit. And that is why. That was like three <laughs> minutes of the whole entire day and it was like an all day session. That was literally <laughs> the last. I had, I had like... I think and that's what you 20 kept. 20 or 15 minutes you know left. I'm pretty sure we kept some other shit today. But yeah, I, I recorded some other shit. That sticks out that day. I didn't though, think so. I was going to keep that. That was 100% <laughs> yeah. just trying to Yeah, you yeah. were just trying like, to I, I that freestyled shit that. The only time I ever rapped that was maybe because I worked earlier in the week and I was with my homegirl. And she was singing, uh, I can't get too drunk because I got to be responsible. No, no, she was singing. That's let, so no, yeah, yeah, she was singing. Let the weed out, ooh, <laughs> let the weed out, and I was like, ooh, hold up, yeah. And then I just started freestyling to the let the weed out. Then I came to the studio. Then that's when I added the can't get too drunk because I got to be responsible. And the annoying part is that's a freestyle, and I never thought about no lyrics of the song, and that's some of niggas' favorite songs. That's how it be, bro. I tell a lot of people that come to the studio, they be like, I'll be like, bro, we got to drop shit because. The shit you don't like is gonna more than likely is gonna be what people like. Well, why is it like that? I have no clue. Yeah, I, I you, I any artist at the beginning of time, you know even painters, I, what I think probably is, say that. What I think it is is because people can feel the organic and like the it's real. Because you don't um, have no expectations, you that, like you but they can do also better. feel the emotion of the recording session, like. Niggas feel like the let the weed out can't get too drunk because I got to be responsible. It's just fun. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's carefree. It's and that's exactly wavy. what it was. That's all it is. I literally put the, I was, I put the bottle down and I literally told you, you was like, you was like, oh, let's, let's take another shot or something. I was like, uh-uh, I can't get too, too drunk because I got to be responsible. <laughs> yeah. And that, ain't that on the tape? Which tape that's on? Uh, Trouble Don't Always Live. Yeah, that's out everywhere yeah. on all the platforms. Trouble Don't Always Live. That's, that's uh, the first the shit hat I'm wearing brought. right now too, by the way. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? So you had... You can so hear that later. That was your, uh, what? That was the first studio album right there? Trouble Don't Always Yeah, that was the first shit I... I ain't never dropped nothing else. Did I, you drop You dropped some videos to that? Uh, I dropped uh, the 412 AM video. No, the 412 AM And I, I plan on going back and shooting videos that for old shit, but... And then, hold on, you just dropped like a few months ago. What was that? You make just sure dropped. you shine. Yeah, make sure you shine. Now that, now that shit. That's everywhere. Bro got videos of that and everywhere. That's on all pla- all platties. I'll put it in the description and shit. That shit. Like, I'll put the damn link so y'all can That's some other shit. Make I'm sure going to put sh- that in a video link in, in the script. Make sure you shine is... Bro, I, I the, the the niggas know and I fuck with music for a long time, like since I was in middle school, high school. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Niggas know I fuck with music for a long time since I was in uh like middle school and high school, but I never really rapped. I just made beats and a pre and like deciphered lyrics and would tell my niggas like, "Hey, listen to this nigga. This is a great talent." Lyrics. Like that's he- good though. Facts, but once I was so that's because I listen to such good music, I was super picky on my own shit. So 
when I started making like Trouble Don't Always Less, it had to meet a certain standard of, oh, okay, I know this is this is good music. So make sure you shine, bro. Make sure you shine. Nah, that's sure so you shine fucking fire, good, bro. It's a fire ass shit. I ain't gonna lie. So, uh, <laughs> that shit is so fucking good. I would good. recommend us to play that from start to finish or like the people bro, think. A lot of people ask, does Clean finish, have any but, talent? And like, this is somebody you would. Start you don't want to just show people like shoot them a bang, bang from here no more. So this is somebody I'd recommend to show people if you want to put light on Kaleem, that, like wax. There's, there's other that. wavy people out there and I'm going to have Facts. them on a podcast too. Start to finish, but in just order. just allow wax to shine right now. I just hit the here. fuck yeah. out the mic. Start nah, to finish, good. but in order. Start to finish in order. And it's not that it's necessarily a story, but... The, oh no, the, it's substance to that motherfucker. The the vibe and the progress through each song is basically the story. Like, and then you got quality visuals and all that. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So. I'm supposed to have some more, but this joint is not like. And I know we was talking about that uh, little parody, not parody, but a little funny song you did. Don't get too drunk, I'll be responsible. I seen you did like another seventies freestyle type thing. Video oh yeah, yeah. In like yeah, the studio, yeah, 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 another yeah. studio. That shit was funny yeah. as fuck to me. Cause I, I know we already had them vibes, bruh. That's we just had no camera. It was just us. And bro, now. the thing is, that was just uh, where was I was in a. So I like, look at this thing. I was in <laughs> Georgia with my nigga uh, Chad Capo. Who oh, was? y'all was at a Georgia and uh, Token Black. We weren't even in the studio. We was at my nigga Chad. Oh, shop. looked wavy. Yeah, my nigga Chad just like got a shop. Yeah, we were just chilling. Okay, in the back. A shop. Yeah, yeah. So we were just chilling in the back and just playing beats and freestyling all day. And bro, them niggas, Chad Token Black <laughs> and Hush Maybe Money, Hush Hush Money P. Oh yeah, shout Hush bro. Money P, man. We're going to have him on the show. I said Chad talking like Trey. My nigga Trey is Chad's brother. Chad is the the business guy. Trey is the one of the so coldest they, rappers they, in the world. So he drops shit or he just do it for No, he drops shit. shit too. Bro, yeah, you but... Put, you got to put me on some shit after the, you, off the podcast type shit, yeah. That nigga, I already know P and shit, but I got to hear. We got this me, Trey, and Hush Money P got this song together, bro. Now, me and Hush recorded uh, our two verses here. Chad, uh, Trey recorded his shit at home. Oh, the, bro, I ain't even heard it yet. Y- Nigga, we recorded them. Uh, oh, you ain't heard Trey. No, I ain't heard y'all. Oh, heard it yeah. is. I heard y'all shit. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's that. Um, I just call it. It's a. It's a groovy. Like it's a groovy ass groovy, song. Yeah, we yeah. just wrapped oh, our yeah. ass off over yeah. a groovy beat. But that nigga is this the one y'all just recently did over here. Mm-mm. Oh, it's a no, different one. It was. It was. One I know weekend. y'all just dropped two verses. Uh, like yeah, yeah like a week or two. A week, ago. A week ago. But, it was like a week no, ago. No, it's some shit we did. Me and me, you and uh, Hush did over like a year ago, and that shit is amazing. Yeah, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I be uh, looking in my email and I be seeing, like, I had Kobe on the show. We looked up all the old songs. And I was like, man, we got a lot of songs. So I know if I look at the email with our shit, I'm gonna be like, I forgot we did this. Cause I don't have three emails. Bro. Oh, shit, I got a little off track, but I, oh, I'm glad you said when you started, you said you always used to rap, but you like decipher lyrics. That's how you started. Well, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I remember when I met you, you used to come for that type shit, like a. Uh, like a player's coach to help right, like Burks right, and like right, other right, people. Right, just yeah. to be like, nah, change that shit. Do yeah, this do shit. Do it like this. Do it yeah. like this. And they they would super value your shit. Yeah. And then one day he was like, I'm gonna book the session. You book the session. He was like, bro, I only did like one song before I used to make beats. And I was bro. like, all right. You know, because I'm just like, whatever. My, remember the AC was broke. Mm-hmm. It's that same year I did a take K shit, all that. So I'm like, so I'm like, shit, that's, that's cool, bro. Like, we can still work. So we worked. Bro rapped. I ain't say nothing the whole time. I'm like, bro, you got it. You got it. I'm just waiting to the end. So as soon as it came out, I'm like, I don't know why you don't rap. You should be <laughs> rapping. Like, I had to tell you nothing. Like, I don't even, and I'm dead. That's literally type of, in a, a summary of what I was saying. Like, bro, because if you can rap, I don't say shit. Right. I just be like, right. bro, you just tell me what you want me to do <laughs> on here. And I'll put some feedback if I just absolutely don't like the shit. Bro, you know that, what I'm saying? Like, that song that I recorded that day um, is the um, Trouble Don't Always Last Tape. Yeah. That's, some of niggas' favorite songs. The first song I ever recorded, recorded in the yeah. studio is some of niggas' favorite. But I remember when music. you did it, I was just like, bro, I don't know. Hey, it's a big thing, bro. I'm really big on being. It's, it's funny because it's like two of y'all, you and Leo, Leo Soul, oh, Leo yeah. B. Leo crazy. When he came Leo's and sung, crazy. he pulled up to the studio and sung. He was like, this is the first time I'm, I'm ever recording a song yep. in the studio. Leo's crazy. He recorded and sung with me. You know what I'm saying? As soon as, as, soon as that, he was nigga. done, as uh, soon as he was done, I was like, what, bro? I'm like, this shit's bro. hard as fuck. Leo he was, was like, crazy. he was like, literally took a deep breath and was like, for real, no shit? Damn, I thought he was going to say my shit was ass. Bro. I was like, what? The, the thing is. I'm like, bro, I, I'm, as, a, as an engineer, you live for organic music. Yeah. I don't, I love recording rap, but I want to record somebody that can sing. Like, I got skills in the singing. Right, 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 right. In the shit too. Like, if I have more of it, I can shine more. You know what I'm saying? But, 
That's why I was crazy that like y'all two was like the same type of shit. I was bro. like, bro, y'all, <laughs> and y'all know each other. I remember I told you he'll record it. It's super important. He was important. like, well, he'll do the song. It's super important <laughs> to be very critical of niggas. But it's also super important to encourage niggas. No, that's when, what I was just about to say. But you do... Uh, the thing, the thing that you, you said about me with the the first day I recorded that song, yeah. when you told me, like, bro, nah, you got it. You can you, you can nah, rock, it's bro. Like, and, uh, it's like you're going to see... That shit is important. It's like you're a talent scout seeing people, somebody who... Like, if I had it like that, now, if you was a hooper, I'd be like, hey... I got to set a little workout up right, here, right, man. Right. Say, you be, you know what you're doing? Like, come on. That shit is so important. It's so important to be honest with your niggas, but it's also super important. When your niggas show out, you got to let them know, even if it's not your nigga. If somebody that you is, are, are looking at shows up, you got to let that nigga know and acknowledge the nigga. It's niggas that I've never met, never seen. They acknowledge Nothing. You. That I'd be like, if I come across your shit, I'd be like, hey, bro. I'm the same. Your shit is crazy. I'm the same. Your shit is nuts. That's why it's like... Because you never know how much that confidence that, yeah, that, that confidence that you give a nigga that can snowball into something else, especially when it's a nigga like me that's... I've never been super overly, overly confident. So yeah. when a nigga... When I, when, I, when I try and poke my foot in the water or See, something... I would never know that. Like, I would have thought you were always confident. Bro, that's no. why I was like, when you came out, I was like... Psst. No. Bro playing with me right now. Bro, can no. rap. When a nigga, when, like what is this? When a nigga gives Bring you... Bring out the cameras. When a nigga I'm confirms on what you... What you what you put your when you put your foot in that water when nigga confirms it, it's like and I don't okay, see a lot I of shit. Kind of, that's and I'm, thing, I'm not yeah. like that. Like a lot of shit don't move me. You know what I'm saying? Like it, I'm just like, oh, you don't fuck with it. So now like, I don't fuck with it. I got I have to go back and re-listen to shit the next day type shit. Because mm-hmm. if it hit if it slapped to me the next day, I'm gonna be like, yeah. Yeah, you recorded a lot of shit. Yeah, it's him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, and when my first years of engineering, my first six seven years, I would have like a super organized library. Right. Like all the way, like I can go find whatever song you want now. Now it's just so much. It's just like I gotta go search it. <coughs> like what we that call this hoe? Like it's just too much. It's just overload. Like I can understand. You see how I name my song? Like, I don't know how much like Tupac and all the big artists. They got music for sure everywhere. Like Pimp C and people like that. Because there's no way if I got all this music and you in a you in actual computer. Yeah, it was you know on like, like super old. They got shit, shit everywhere on, on like CDs, analog, and computers. You know what I'm saying? Like. So like, but that shit saying you do that shit, I was like, yeah, bro, you can rap. And going back to the players, coaches, like even when you was helping other people rap, you knew how to tell people without breaking their confidence. You weren't just like, this shit suck, bro. Do it like this. Right. You'd be like, nah, say it like this. Right, right. That right. go a long way too. That's yeah, why people nah, value your opinion, bro. Before I was, before I knew I could rap, because I used, to, like I said, I used to. I don't know if I said it already. I might have. I think I did. But anyways, mm-hmm. I used to make beats and just listen to music. Yeah. So before I did that, nigga. Everything I the the I know what I like to hear, basically. So if my nigga is making some shit that I don't want to hear, then I'm gonna I'm gonna let him know. And it's not like I listen to one specific type of music. Like I listen to everything so I can find a beauty in if a nigga's st- style is a little unorthodox or a little offbeat or a little something like that, that's not exactly what I'm gonna tell you to fix. But oh, yeah, facts. whatever it is that I really don't like, or if it's if I'm listening to your shit and it's not like something that makes me be like, ah, okay. And it don't got to be the words. It could be the way you say something, the way you pronounce something, the flow you use, your beat selection. But if a nigga don't say something that, if a nigga don't have any elements of the song that impress me or compliment the elements that do impress me that he didn't create, yeah, then I'm going I'm to let him know. And that's the best thing, you, like I said, nah, that's the is. best thing you can do for your niggas. You, the best thing you can do is be... Brutally see, honest. You know, homies, though, see, my shit different. People want me to do all that. But, I mean, I could if I'm getting paid like how I was supposed to be getting paid. You know what right. I'm saying? But it's like, yeah. there's a lot of shit I could do more. But it's, it's like I can't give them, I can't give everybody this free game because not everybody want it. One time I tried to help a dude flow the right way. Uh-huh. He didn't like it at the end. He didn't like he it. Was like, he, he was like, no, he didn't like the flow. He was like, I just want to do it my way. I was okay. just like, well, then, I was that's- like that's when I, then I learned. I'm like, well, y'all, I'm gonna have to have put a sign up. Like, let yeah. me know what y'all want me to do. The thing is, because y'all, y'all killing me when I'm trying my hardest to but tell Pete, y'all. That's part of the shit that comes with the. I don't even want to call it. It's just it, years though, so it's just it, over years. I don't even want to call like, it like, power. It's just part of the shit that comes with when you have a certain taste. Not yeah. your taste is everybody's taste. Yeah, but if you put yourself in a position of where See, but the thing with niggas me, care about what you're saying to them. If you don't fuck with it, then you don't fuck with See, it. See, that's the thing with me. My taste is, I'm, if I don't like something, I'm still, I still respect it. 
Right, Even right, if, right. Like, cause nowadays it's a genre for everything. There's an audience for everything. It's like, an audience for a lot of like shit, that, but I don't, I don't respect saying? everything. Not, I don't respect <laughs> everything, but I'm saying there's an audience for everything. So I just, if you putting it out, like, all right, but I'm not going to respect some, like, come on, some super ABC xylophone shit. Come on. And, bro, the I'm thing is, the thing, like I said, it's elements of shit. It's ABC shit that's hard as fuck. Fuck. Yeah, because like Young Nudy. I bet you there's a beat. Hard as fuck. I wouldn't even put hard. Young Nudy in ABC, but ABC. I bet you the B hard. Nudy don't rhyme comp doesn't have complex rhymes. Put it yeah, that way. A lot of people but don't Nudy know. Hard well, as I listened fuck. to Mozzie Day when we was hooping. And what do you say? He said it all, it's more than just spitting uh punchlines and a fire rap or some shit. And I was like, ooh, like, it is though. Cause you can just put shit together though. Cause yes. Molly just say real shit. Like I shout out Mozzie. Yeah. I fuck with Mozzie. Yeah. The, and I'm from Texas. So it's man. a nigga named Lucky. L U C K I. He can rap his ass off when he wants to, but Lucky found out the the key, a key for him. His key was yeah, that's the key. Lucky's key was when you figure that you got to learn beats what? beats that that rod and bounce. Oh, it's okay. Oh, Lucky's key was beats that rod and bounce, and Lucky saying crazy ass relatable one liners, and that nigga Bro, did that, and now Lucky is, is a great. star, nigga. Lucky is a star now, and. That is it's, it's it's ways you can keep it simple and still go crazy. You can still have good music. You can still be snapping and you keeping it simple as fuck. But you know I know some that. Shit you know, just, me, you know that. But. Some shit just ain't good. That's 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 the hard part. Now, I couldn't imagine doing like, that. Like I wish you. I wish you, I could like niggas are paying you. Put it this way. I wish I could put it like <laughs> quick ass Madden stats up for them. But this what? is what I thought. Quick as like what? Madden stats. Like I wish uh-huh. I had this thing that can just pull. Oh, up right like, like so I can send to their like, phone. I'm like, this is how your work ethic was this today. Is your attributes. Just, yeah, your attributes. Yeah, yeah. This was your flow. This was this. Cause a lot of people work ethic. This shit would be up, but they they shit. The main shit would be like right. Like some people be speed would be up, and then they be like catch be like right fifty. But the thing you wide receiver. You so know, look, so 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 you can you can so gotta te- fix some shit. So tell them niggas Got that. a little bit. But. The thing, I was just talking to my nigga Chad. I don't know who it was yesterday or the day before yesterday, but you can take a nigga that doesn't have a 90 in talent. His Let's say his talent is 65, but his consistency and work ethic and That's repetitiveness what That's what I'm talking is about better that. than Attri- the nigga with the 90 talent. So you would have to, I'll so, have to break it down. So, look, so, so, break so it tell him, right. like, hey, your flow wasn't there. Your work ethic was hot, though. But if you be consistent, you could outbeat everything. You it doesn't can matter. Beat exactly, <laughs> exactly. Bro, I was a big fan of nigga of a nigga named Lil B in high school. I know who Lil B is. I yeah. know you know. Yeah. I'm, I'm just saying. We know Lil B wasn't the greatest rapper. Oh, I knew but that he, off real. But the I knew nigga he was doing had elements that made him fucking I knew what crazy. He was doing. I knew what he was doing. Lil B got crazy lines that I still remember to this day. That's the one song I fuck with. Turbo, shut up. My cat Turbo won't let this hoe. I might let him in for the first time. He might hop on the table and bless us. Special guest. That my guy in, man. For the first time. I got my dog over here with a side right here. Turbo. Uh, he at the door? That's funny. Yeah, he was meowing and shit. You can hop up here if you want, man. He can bless the camera. But yeah, oh yeah, I was going to ask you this when you was talking about uh, like helping the people and shit. Like, you got to tell your homies when they fire or something. Mm-hmm. I know you you be watching I Am Athlete. Not consistently. But I, I Deshaun uh Jackson who? was on there. Who? Deshaun Jackson. Nope. Like uh he a wide receiver. I haven't seen it. But, but uh you I know, know I'm talking about who he is. Yeah, I, I, like, no, I was like, oh nah, damn. I know who he is. Oh, I yeah, but, all right, man, so Deshaun Jackson on there and he said when he worked out with Jerry Rice, Jerry Rice was like, like, like this is all you gotta work on, like one thing. And Jerry Rice told him that. You know right. Jerry Rice ain't gonna cap. Right. So he was like, oh, Jerry Rice told me I gotta work. Jeez. It's a rap for you. Because Jerry Rice didn't like get he didn't like getting hit either. He was finesse catch and be gone. Like just on that's right. So he I, he was like, if Jerry Rice told me this. So I was like, that's the same thing. You tell your homeboy you don't thing. know. Bro, they look, some, think of you how regard. So you tell him one little thing, they're like, oh. Bro, it's so hey. many, it's so many uh similar attributes in sports and rap. Or sports and music. Fuck just rap, but. No, nah, I, I incorporated sports with like I grew up with like music and sports. That's bro, it. Bro, I stopped watching cartoons. Is my two favorite, to be honest, bro, I stopped watching like cartoons when I was like in kindergarten type shit. Like I was sports center like all day. That's my TV station on softball's on. It's just on. Like baseball on, it's just on. Like yeah. I just this is what I did, you know what I'm saying? Bro. And then like 
That com- I, that, that I, mixture I, I did all, all that mesh. Like, that mixture of competitiveness and teamwork, nigga. That's bro, the key that's to life. It. Bro, that's how it be. <laughs> that's the key to life. You got to be competitive and you got to really appreciate And a lot of teamwork. people be too uh too competitive in the music shit, so they don't really do no teamwork. Oh, yeah. So, like, like you you have... You and your core set of homies, y'all help each other out. That's bro, dope. and I don't even care about the core set of homies, bro. Niggas that I no, have. No, no, you help everybody out. You've been in the studio with somebody no, else. No, eh, I don't, eh, that's complicated. I don't no, like, I'll say you've been in the studio with other people, and I've seen you just oh, be like, just help niggas. Just be like, hey, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. maybe if you try to take that I out. Or oh, yeah. That bro, A out. That's what that's, I mean. You know what I'm saying? That, li- that little thing, like, hey, bro, just take this out. Like, I see you might be. Yeah, it'd be one little take word. Just take this out, bro. You'll finish your shit up, no problem, bro. But. You you gotta help. I help my friends, but it's super important, especially when uh you don't stay or you're not from a like a big major city. I feel like it's super important to uh give your insight to niggas that ask for it that ain't that aren't your friends. If you want to see a nigga do better and he ask you what he can improve on, like I've I've done that to niggas. I've asked like way like I said before I before I drop music like. When I was just making little shit and keeping it on a private SoundCloud track and sending it to individuals. But I'm thinking like you were like, made a few of y'all, y'all like, maybe a little ahead of your time. You're probably supposed to be born around some other <laughs> little time. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Not like ahead I of get, time. I, get I think you. you're just right in the warp, but I feel like I some get. shit inspired from the time. Oh, I yeah, feel like you're sure. right in the where sure. you're supposed to be, though, but it's yeah. like. I don't know. I'm not saying you should. should no. Been. But if I put you there, like we went back in time, you would slide in there, though. Oh, you'd you're yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? You can but I feel like you're back. right. I, I won't say that. You're, you're right in your warp. But it's like some it's some past shit that you for oh. sure fuck with. Yeah, I fuck with Because you play some old shit oh. that I already know about. No, that I, I didn't think you would play. I fuck with a whole bunch of old shit. I'm like, man, I ain't going to play this. I thought we, we could have been turning up wax. Yeah, no, nah, I fuck with a whole bunch of old shit, bro. Like a whole bunch. It's a certain, it's a certain like time that I can't, I don't really care to go before, but shit, as I, far I, as hip hop, I, like, I fuck with a bunch of a bunch of old shit. Now, as far as all music, oh, see, like I was like coming up when hip hop was like not hip hop, it was like it was like gangster rap when it was coming out. Oh, you know right, right, like like, like Ice like, Cube and all them. Like when I was, when I was like a kid, Cube. like you know what I'm saying, and like, but I still was always when when I was growing up, it's, all that old shit still was it's still relevant, like. Eight years. Oh, it ain't yeah. like not, now shit. it's like bro, old and it's too Certain years. shit. Back then it's like, that shit's going to transfer. Like the shit from the 80s transferred in the 90s to about like 9-4. Right, know what right, right, That's when right, it right. starts shifting into the 90s. You know what I'm saying? Bro. Shit. So that shit was, but it's my some, dad was a person that had all that this shit. shit. just resonates for. But rock and roll is really what I, like, I grew up on. Like rock and roll and like, all my dad shit, listens to like. All that shit is combined. Soulful bro. shit. Like, bro, my dad listens to everything. Like, it's not just rock. I ain't going to limit it. Everything my dad's to is what he put me in. Right. So all these records come from all that shit. My dad gave me them. All that know. shit is combined, bro. That's that's why I said at the that's why I said at the beginning where I don't really want to just be one type of genre nigga. Like, I want to make that everything. Wavy, that wavy, you could do yeah. anything. Ain't no yeah. genre. I want to have the freedom to make everything. There's a lot of rappers that try to make certain albums, like rock albums. I don't know if I've heard a great <laughs> rock album. <laughs> I don't know if I've heard a great rock album by Bro, I heard somebody Kid Cudi shit was I heard a few people cool. roasting uh um, wasn't great though I never heard it Cause I'm not a Jay-Z fan like that But I heard somebody They was roasting Oh, his shit with Linkin Park? Nah, they, it wasn't the Jay-Z It was Nah shit They was like, what was he doing? What I song? I never heard a Nah Nah, not rock a rock song. song They said he did something The Jamaican joint When he rapped Jamaican when he rapped, you know what I'm talking about? That shit hard. I'm well, saying so they was roasting it, though. They, they had him on there, nah, too. they ain't stupid. It was Dean Samaro. Yeah, nah, they from they New York, They were wildin'. Though. They, they were wildin'. New York. My cousin Wesley put me on that tape. That and shit hard. That shit hard. I I don't care. You know what? I don't even know how many tracks Wesley, did he get you videos? I, no, not oh, that Wesley, nigga. So <laughs> so it's another. I, now, no, there's not everybody. There's <laughs> not only one Wesley Steven. <laughs> But look, that nigga put me on that tape. I can't. I can genuinely only remember one song. Off What's that your favorite Jay Z song? Hold on. All right, my bad. I can only remember one song. That's off the that song. Tape. It's called Sabali, and that's the song. That shit is good enough to carry that heard whole it, so tape. I'm not gonna. That shit's good enough to carry that whole tape. I, I don't care what a nigga got to say about that. Damian Marley and Nas Sabali. That shit is, is hard as fuck. 
It might be another song. I might be mis- I'm gonna look. I'm gonna do my research. No, that's. I know it's a tape. I know that's the tape they're talking about though. If it was like it was some like reggae some shit, type of, it's Damian Marley. Some type of random shit. Now what? My favorite Jay Z song. Yeah. That's hard. This nigga's a Jay Z hater. Even if he, hater. Really, if he really, if he really some Jay Z commercial joints. This nigga talks a lot of shit about Jay Z. <laughs> I bought Big Pimpin' when it came out from the stove. Uh, my favorite Jay Z. I can't pick, bro. It's, I can give you like five. The prelude, give me four. The prelude, that's in there. Uh, regrets is in there. Bring it on. Nah, nah, nah. I'm gonna, let me take bring it on out of there. Uh, Dear Summer is in there. So that's three. Um, Damn. My last one got to be a good choice. Yeah, that's why I don't fuck with cats. They're not dogs. You can't just give them commands and they listen. They be like, nigga, he whatever, I'm filming. leaving. Nah, he just knows we filming. Said, he was like, nah, he trying to sell me. He can't yell at me, bro. Like, I need one more. One more Jay-Z song. See, this nigga don't even care about hoes, man. A ho? He disrespectful. Ho? Oh, hoes. Hmm, <laughs> who is? No, I'm playing. I don't know, bro. The last, uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to leave with them even, three. I can't even jam them. I, I can give you, I can give you some. I can give you a... <laughs> the, the verse on Juvenile 400 Degrees I'm gonna give them all South shit South features No listen to this nigga yo. <laughs> I'm playing bro I'm just trolling I'm He's just disrespectful trolling. bro Ooh I'm just trolling also, His verse on Jeezy shit His verse on Go Crazy was stupid No his verse on there was Shit to go crazy But he wrote uh, That fucking Still DRE shit For Dr. Dre and shit So that's I fuck with him I remember now. I bet. I'll give you your flowers. All right, man. Get off my nigga, dog. I still remember the car that you went through that's fucked up. <laughs> and is y'all still miss you? That's Jay-Z for sure. But in just Dr. Dre, bro. Dr. Dre's cadence. <laughs> Not cadence. That's Jehovah's cadence. Dr. Dre voice, so it just rules it. it. Just make it Dr. Dre. <laughs> and is y'all still miss you? I'm just being real with you. That nigga ho said, I got to embody Dre. <laughs> he, like, yeah, he was like, fuck it. What does Dre like, be missing? Let me, let me write Dre be missing easy. I know he do. <laughs> <laughs> I know he do. I know, I know he that nigga be missing. Oh, DLC him. went through that window. <laughs> I used to follow you niggas' lives. I know what you yeah, niggas I know, I know, I know. I know what y'all do. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man. So what you got in the works new, though? Uh... uh just like in the studio, just working on new shit, gathering, yeah, gathering shit, shit up. up. Yeah, I'm just trying shit out, gathering ideas. I'm doing a lot of writing now. I be, uh, like a lot of times I take breaks from creating. You still write in the studio? I want to stop. Or you write in and out? I do both now. Because like, you got, came to the studio last time with like this whole shit, and, yeah. but you still writing here. Whenever I got writer's block, I can't write at home. I got to write in the studio. Cool. But that becomes an expensive creative process, nigga. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> If you can just come to the studio with your shit ready and ready to go, then boom. But I'm so picky. I could come to the studio and freestyle all my verses and punch in bar for bar, but picky I'm so up. picky that I'm a, I'm not going to be satisfied with that shit. Then I'm going to be mad that I spent money on some shit I'm not satisfied with and yeah, have to go so back and rather just be at the crib, just fucking get it right and you know, just tweak it when you get here. Yeah, but I'm trying to change that. I'm trying to create more consistently now because I've just been listening to a lot of interviews and been hearing a lot of different perspectives and shit. like. Uh, you just got to, if you take your talent for granted, you'll just fall complacent to it. You could, you just got to keep consistently, even if it's, even if you're not creating anything that's amazing that day. And that's my problem. If I'm not going crazy, I get uninterested because I want to go crazy. This shit is whack. I'm not fucking with it. So yeah, why would bro, I keep I'll be going? I'm trying to do something a day, like anything. I'm you like, know? damn, this ain't my best shit. But I'm like, fuck it. I did some shit today. It wasn't, it's yeah, a gold bro. step. Let's at least I ain't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like this, right, shit. right. That's that's what I'm just now getting into. Like this year type shit is consistently like just being disciplined enough to put some sort of work into something musically a day, even if it's think uh, figuring out uh, more details about the business, even if it's thinking. Research. That's my main. Even if you're on YouTube, my main research shit right shit. now, bro. I, I I'm not trying to sound cocky or nothing, but the the creating shit is nah, not, not number one in my priority list I right be now. Known, like because that. if I get fucked on some on a business so in my level, mind, I'm I be knowing pissed. already what you're doing, but I can't explain shit. So I already right. know what you've been on, the business shit and all that, because yeah. I already know it's easy 
for us to create, at least for me and people like you and shit. Right. Only because it's everyone's different. There's just levels. People can create in other ways. And I wouldn't say it's necessarily easy to create, but it's 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 not the it's not my biggest concern right Enough. now. My it's biggest not, concern no, is no, not I mean, being. I ain't gonna say easy to respect business, this business, but uh, minded. it comes a little bit more uh, organically to mm-hmm. uh, to mm-hmm. to you and some other people more than others. I definitely say that. That's, yeah. I'm only saying this over years of experience. I've been an engineer for like hell of years. I can't tell y'all. Y'all know my, y'all guess my ear, my age and shit. But uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So I'm just saying. But yeah, that's the only reason I be saying shit like that. I'm not just trying to be talking shit. No, no, no. I'm you just telling the viewers me, that. I'm telling the viewers so they be like, oh yeah, yeah. You're know, like, nah. <laughs> I be I saw a lot of shit. Like my nah. shit kind of matter. Like I'm, I'm, I'm just, I don't. This is not ass. That's why I said I understand why it's hard, or not necessarily hard, but that's it's like a a a, a task for you to give no, niggas is. feedback because you record it's hard so because many I niggas. Do, I want to give them the feedback, but it's a thin line. Like I can't, right. you can't shatter the nigga confidence. Come back. Yeah, right. like exactly. So I just I try to just play the little you fuck with it card, and I'll, then I'll go from there. All right, this is what we do. Right. When you come, dude, it rhymes a little better. Yeah. Like the other day, dude came and he didn't leave me no time to mix. I'm like, bro, you gotta leave me some time to mix. I charge hourly. I mean, I'm not tripping. It's got a premix on there. Like, right. I'm, ain't nobody leaving raw. I'm, my shit sound decent enough. Like, right. I, I, I made that a priority and have my premix sound cool enough so when you show it to somebody, they ain't like, what the fuck is... You know what I'm saying? So you can play it to them. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's not right. done. No. They'll be like, oh, man, shit sound dope. No, nah, I figured. So, like, but he didn't leave me no time. So I was like, bro, it's my first time working with you. I'll let you know. You come back, bro. I just need you 15, 20 me minutes. Time. I can saw sure. Yeah. Just a little rap song and shit. I can, bro, I'll need 15, 20 minutes. I got you. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I can do a lot of shit. People don't know that. I had a session come. They said they didn't know that they can come back again and work on it again. I'm like, bro, I can do so much. I'm not kicking you out. You only booked this amount of time. Right. This is my profession. <laughs> you know, it's Niggas. just cool as fuck. <laughs> But it just look cool to y'all. I mean, it is cool. That's what I'm in. But this shit that's is what I'm in. Nah, I have to. I wish I had enough bread to just let everybody come in, like right. the dope. Everybody, we come free. You niggas wouldn't want to clock in and go to work for free. Yeah, so. No, nah, that's what I'm saying. Like, and then it's, I and I and, and I have to always make it not feel like work. Right. You know what I'm saying? I gotta make it feel cool. So when the, I don't like when people like rush me in the sessions or like at the end, I'm like, bro, I own this place. I can give you extra thirty minutes. Right. It's <laughs> like not, it's not. It's, it's not no the big deal, deal to me. Just don't make me feel like I'm. Like I'm, I'm working, you know right, what I'm saying? Like right. we we just we collabing. You just toss me some bread to collab. That's how I be feeling. Right. No, you know what I'm saying? Saying? I don't want a task like that, bro. That makes why, sense. That's why the podcast, because I like, yeah, that's how I be want to look at it. Like we just collabing, bro. You toss me some bread to collab. The engineering shit. I'm not trying to be a task like yo. Like, right, nah, right, that, right, that right. goes away from the vibe from the stew. I'm not trying to I'm like, you killing the vibe right now. I don't care about the money, bro. I want to even be doing this. Right. <laughs> I don't care about the money. You know, you know what I'm saying? There's main big engineers that say the same thing. Like, I want to bro. Like, this ain't nah. We love this shit. So it's just, I, that's why I started the podcast. So it's just, it brought like more life to the shit. Right. No. Like, oh, no, this shit fun again. It brings back light. Uh, like what I was doing before, like. It's something new. Yeah, why you're in I the got same, into You're in the same space yeah, doing the, the same, same thing yeah. every fucking day. Yeah. So <laughs> this <laughs> to is be new. on here is something and new. And I, I was like, how can I incorporate with the people I record? Because I know so many people from different cities and here. So right. much motion here. And I'm like, we, I'm going to just shine light on like people like you and everybody else. Yeah. Well, yeah. I had a session come and said, he, for when he first moved down here, he looked up Colleen Podcast. Said he found zero. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, he typed in so much shit. He, can, he was like, bro, so see you doing that? Like, that's lit. He was like, bro, I would have found this shit off rip and been tapped into artists and just tapped in, just off your ad and just go to the, the city on YouTube. Soon he moved down yeah, here, yeah. bro. I was like, bro, that's throwed. Like, like I'm not saying bro. like nobody has no other interviews or shit going on out there, but like, no, the but not like a, a necessarily like structure. A, and this is going to yeah. be consistent. Like, I and started, what? Well, this ain't even been a month and we on like episode six. Some niggas this do gonna podcasts be like episode, and it's only audio. Seven. You got the Oh, yeah, yeah, audio, only audio, yeah. Video. Niggas like that's why I'm bougie. Like I'm like you. Like, like, like that's why it take me so long to do shit because I wanted it to be perfect. But then like you have some homies that come around, shout out when they spook, and they'll be like, "Fuck it, we just gonna do it." Yeah, and I'm like, "Well, fuck it, let's just do it." These like yep. my friends from like middle school, yeah, so it's I'm like telling you that if he's saying let's do it, like fuck it, compliments like, we and kids that confidence again, and let's just do it. Then. Like if my boy. homie from middle school told me let's do it, yeah. say let's just do it. Like shit, you with me? Fuck it. It's just like old, like old you time. You got to have like, niggas around you that you know is not just telling you yes. Nah, bro. Bro because. was not telling me yes. He, yeah. he believed in the vision. He was like, oh, yeah. 
Like he helped me. You with gotta my start words. somewhere. Yeah. That's the thing. You gotta start somewhere. Yeah, like uh, like the first podcast, like people were telling me like what I should like fix and shit. And I was mm-hmm. like, the little piece of me I was like, what? But I was like, oh, we just starting though. And they were like, yeah. And the people go like you said, then go back and see. Like episodes online line and go back Bro. and still tap in their own ones and be like, yes. this is lit. They came look, here look, for look, this. Exa- exactly. I forgot though because I watched podcasts. So when you said that earlier, I was like, yeah. you're right though because I watched hella podcasts Bro. and I watched every Joe Rogan. I went back in time. Exactly. You know and that's man? the thing. The thing about it is when you, even when they catch on to you in, in the midst or in the stride of your success, mm-hmm. it makes it so much more fun that I can back. go back and look at when you wasn't doing yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah, when you and when you, you didn't have shit figured out, shit. bro. That's why I'm telling you. That's the reason I started rapping, nigga. Because currency and Wiz documented the years when they was, bro. That's not, why. I, that's why I fuck with you because I was a super fan of them. And bro, I'm glad you said that. Ooh, ooh. Because <laughs> that's why me and all my homies fucked with them because well, my, my homeboy shout out baby biscuit. I can't sleep. He would wake me up early every morning, and all he would do was throw on the, the Wiz vlogs from episode one, like Bruh. in live. Like when they Bruh. aired, he would wake me up every day though. That's like my OG homie. He would come and like, and like wake me up to grind and do music. Like and I'd be sleepy, but he would. I'm outside. Tell your mom here, I got some money for it. Tell your dad, uh, uh. Real nigga. and we we waking up and doing all that shit. So I'm like, fuck. And so well, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm like, then I get up and then first thing we watching is that all the vlogs from like episode one, two, three, four. That shit is... Bro, to, in real time, like, me and all my homies. Bro. So when you that just said that, because I know for a fact he's the first person to vlog like that consistent, though. Nigga. There was some, but it was like, one time, this right. one show, this exactly. time in Milwaukee, weird-ass exactly. random gay shit. That, that shit is... I'll blur that word out. <laughs> Red- <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get canceled before, I get, before I get started. Random... Random whoopsie! Turbo. <laughs> I got a cat. <laughs> Turbo, that's now you ex now you come in right now. Get in a great time for you to come up here. I like damn I forgot we on YouTube. They're gonna be like, nah, I use <laughs> use slurs. No, I did it. I meant Jordan. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> but yeah. You're a idiot. <laughs> Oh man, that's why they fuck with the what's that dude's two bar? Oh man. I got Uncle Wax and he he I don't know if he still go by whiskey wax, cause I don't ever see him with whiskey no more. Man. He should be underneath the table. I don't be trying to. So you be going to get them I'm wings from that to... spot we pulled up to that day oh, all the bro, time. What that shit? I be seeing you stupid. <laughs> you posted. know what's look, the wings is good. The bagogi though. I ain't even had it. We're gonna have to fade it. Crazy. We're gonna have to fade there and get a few shots one day and then eat the wings. Bogey. That's the only way I can get jiggy. Bagogi is crazy. That's the only way I can get jiggy. So, oh, shit, did you, oh, he was going for anybody in the finals and shit? Golden State or some shit? I was or going like, for Golden State just because it was. I fuck with I only said that because I was uh, trying to get you on the podcast, but uh, when I first oh. started, and he was like, you know what's in the game? <laughs> and I was like, oh, the game is on. Bruh. Yeah, nah. The game is on. That's the day I did quitting the podcast. Yeah. He, didn't, he didn't give that a fuck. That shit's stupid important. <laughs> I was watching the game. I was going to pull up after the game. Yeah. But I fell asleep. So, but the game, the game was fire. Was boring. No, I'm uh, <laughs> the game was fire, nigga. But yeah, I was going for Golden State. Uh, I just fuck with Steph Clay and Draymond, honestly. Okay, yeah, and Gary Payton, Jr. Gary Payton II. Yeah. I, that's, that's, I just like the way to play basketball, bro. Damn. So, uh, what other that sports you be fucking with? You don't fuck with no other sports and shit? Not like not enough friend. for me to super. I, I don't follow any other sports. I'm what are like hobbies you got besides music? Uh, playing the bass guitar, making me bro. Music is the hobby. Like okay, cool. The if I'm interested in other shit. Like I like learning, but I don't like learning in a classroom. Like, and, but, but I don't like learning in a classroom. What about like environment. fashion clothes and shit. I like making. I'm I'm getting into making clothes okay, now. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, but I'm not a fan of like uh I'm not a, a connoisseur of okay, clothes. Yeah. I just started giving a fuck about what I wear. And, yeah. And now I like to like find different colors to like. That's that's one. I thing just I'm started too. Like, I think like liking to year, find different colors to put together that I wouldn't have put together back in the past. That's but like nowadays you can of. put like. It's different. It's like you could put together anything nowadays. If you do it right. You're not just anything, exactly, but... Exactly. But, like, yeah. you can, like, wear... I've seen niggas try nah, to nah, do nah, it. No, 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 no. It's got to be... You know, like, like, 
And I know that because for a fact, I didn't like care about what I wore for the longest and no one gave a fuck. Bruh. It's fuck with me because I'm Steve. Bruh. <laughs> like, just because I fuck with you, Steve. I'm not dirty. Nigga, that I'm was not a, tacky. I'm just. That was tacky's a, the main thing. If you're tacky, nigga, yeah, I ain't yeah, gonna it's fuck never with tacky. you. Yeah, I'm gonna say, but somebody, if you're tacky though, you niggas not, know. Nigga, gonna any fuck any with nigga you, that know me from growing up, niggas know I'm not the nigga to put. <laughs> that you ain't never. Same. I was the same. I might have. You might have seen me twice, nigga, since you know me since middle school and been like, damn, Tharp put that shit on. <laughs> and I doubt it's been twice, nigga. I put that shit on. <laughs> you'll you just be like, oh, yeah, that nigga, years, that nigga bro. comfortable. I should have rolled <laughs> another one. You know? Yeah, no. Nah, but now, now it's certain times where it's, it's never a put that shit on, but it's like, oh, okay. I can dress now. Like, I, I couldn't not dress. Well, we, I, nigga was never not matching, but that was the problem. I was matching. No, I'm saying, as long as we nigga was tacky, bro, much. look. And if you got Damn. the vibe, they don't give a fuck. The, yeah. world, the world don't care. It's energy. Bro, I got videos. Every video I got, except for maybe the first one when I just had on the jacket. Bro, I be looking at them videos like, bro, what the fuck am I wearing? Like, <laughs> it's a years of so, shit, though. It's not even a long time ago. Nigga, I dropped bro. my first shit in 2020. <laughs> It ain't, a, it ain't a long time ago, nigga. I'll be looking at my out. Nah, fuck that. I be <laughs> looking at my shit like, bro, I'm wrapping my ass off and I got this on. That's not the thing. But I'm a little bit more interested in clothes and shit now. So I'm starting to design my own shit. I'm starting so who's to your uh, biggest music influence? Hmm. Or one of like, a, 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 like a, name, a, name some of your music influences that just pop up off your head. Sade. So Ooh, that's my, my grandpa. That's my dad's favorite artist. Yeah, Sade, my that's grandpa. That's crazy, bro. Currency. That's why I fuck with you. Um, Michael be Jackson. Shirt soon, though. Max B. That's why I fuck with you. I've been saying that on all the podcast. That's why I fuck with you. <laughs> that's why I fuck been with saying you. that on all the podcast. <laughs> that's a good shirt. No cap. <laughs> you got to get the you. font fire. Yeah, dude, the font going to be fire. That's yeah. my specialty. The, the font, font and the colorway got to be hard. I'm going to my that's tattoo artist to draw a draw random new And form. you got to get the placement right. You don't just get it like... Oh, uh, no, no. I'm, yeah, I'm, like, I'm, bro, the, I don't know what that... that whole like small... What is it? ADHD or, or that all bitch. the shit? We can I told design you, I'm trying to but get I'm in picky, the clothes. Though, like, design that oh, as long as it's centered and shit, that's why it took me so long to frame the damn podcast because I'm picky as fuck. Fuck. Hold up. Oh. Musical influence. Oh, musical influence. Like, some... I said Sade, I said Currency. Sade Currency. UGK. UGK? Uh, Outcast. Outcast is, this is in no particular order. Cause no, 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 I'm not. I'm Outcast not, is I'm not taking it as no order. But for, for real. Years, though. For real. Um, I don't know, bro. It's a lot. And, and I. For I, real? Okay. I can't even, if I, if I put it in one box, because it, it's producers that are influences, like Knowledge. Influences my beat selection. Yeah. Ever since I found him, Jay Dilla, fucking MF Doom, Mad Lib. Yeah, I was, one, was waiting for MF Doom. Is yeah. there still something in that right there? Oh, that. <laughs> yeah, let go. It's a lot of niggas, though, bro. But yeah, uh, so they influenced you. So, like, uh, what you be jamming nowadays? Mm. Like, what's on your, like, if I, like, I'm your last five album, albums bro. or some shit? You just played some random shit today. Uh, I don't know, bro. I've been fucking with a lot of shit. Uh, oh, yo. Is this nigga named uh, Saudi Cash? S-H. That's who you was playing earlier? Yeah, 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 yeah. S-H-A-U-D-Y. Cash. Him and Topside just dropped the project. That shit hard. But that's one of them niggas that's just like, I be trying to get niggas. You know how I told you, like, I appreciate a bunch of different shit. So I be trying to get people to really... No, that's that shit I be trying to jam when, it, when it's like I be trying function. to get people to understand, like, look, imagine if you was listening to this, but it wasn't a song that a nigga just put on. Imagine if this was your nigga in the backseat oh, like, rapping. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's and you heard, put and, it. and he was rapping like this. You'd be like, yo! <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to put nigga. it. So I, was here, I, I was setting up the podcast while he was playing it, so I was hearing, like, Bars here and there, so I'm gonna go back and listen to the yeah. shit. But I was hearing the bars when bro, I'm like, it's them one liners I be up. talking about. The one liners I talked about, that shit is so. I'm t- he's nah, not. I know. I was freestyling that the one the time he was here, and you, bro. I thought you was playing about my one liners, and no. bro was fucking with my one liners. Bro, he was like, no, nah, what is that? I heard that. I'm like, bro, for real, ex. He was like, bro, I'm dead. I'm like, all right, man. Nah, bro. Now, that one liner, bro. When you have fun, that's with too that much shit. free game. Yeah, it's too much free game. But niggas, the one liner, hey, one line, game, one liner, one liners, bro. You don't even got to figure it out. Figure out. Say you say one line every four bars, nigga. You up. Yeah, people. But you gotta have a good flow though. 
And mine was one, one like, I guess it was every one. It was like one, one, one. So every four bars. Yeah, yeah, every four <laughs> bars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really. So I skip one, yep, every bro, four bars. I really, That's how I rap. I'm, I'm really trying to I rap with start rapping on different beats just because I don't want just one certain type of person or one certain type of music fan to appreciate my music. Like I got to I got to expand my beat palette because I want you niggas you, over there you off that to energy, understand how hard I'm in. coming though. Huh? You give off that energy for people to tap in though. Yeah, but there's some niggas that might just and and this is going to happen regardless regardless of whether I rap on this beat or that beat, but there's some niggas that just don't like the genre of beats that I rap on. But I they kind they're so dynamic, but it's some niggas like not even the genre of beat, the delivery that I have Unless it's one of my slow songs, it's certain niggas that's like I'm not finna put in the effort to listen to every single bar. I need to step that game up because it's easy to comprehend. Like, it is. And it's that's, like, that's it flows they, in my brain yeah. and out and, and I understand it. Some it's niggas not like you like it's some open. Niggas, 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 right, but some bars. niggas just want to hear some shit with a yeah. bounce. Like yeah, they just want to no, they yeah. just want to chant to the hook <laughs> yeah. like in a club. Like yeah, and ain't nothing wrong with and that. Ain't nothing wrong, but that's but, why. But tap in when you but. I want to learn like when you okay, drinking mimosas about, or tequila with your shoulder up here, I, and we catch this vibe on this rooftop exactly. on Miami or some shit. That's that's what my shit is. That's what I'm talking about. Like you know, what I'm saying that's <laughs> the vibe. Or we we cruising late night city lights with this, this lights. Up. But bro, from doing all these shows that I've been doing this and year, you can still go out there and play it on the turn up. But from all the shows I've been doing this year, that's something that I really want to do is have some shit that niggas can get. I don't necessarily. I don't care if I don't want you to mosh to my shit. Oh, help me help but I want out. you to help really be able there. to. Bounce. We're gonna, like, we're gonna, I got bounce. you. I got you. I ain't gonna give away the theory I'm finna try and do. That's but. what I was trying to do with um, Ready, you. Set, Go Crazy, but no, I got my you. shit just be so smooth. <laughs> yeah. It was ready, set, go. Yeah. <laughs> Complete I opposite want niggas, of this right. shit. I want niggas to go crazy. I'm out here smooth, <laughs> saying <Thanks>. go crazy. <laughs> so literally the complete opposite, bro. Bruh. But hey, man, we figuring this shit out as we go. The song is still yeah, hard, yeah. but... It's it's not what what the what the what the females be saying. It's not a uh, it's not giving what it's supposed to give. How do you say that? Not him. Nah, him. It's not him. It's not giving what it's supposed to give, man. It's supposed to give. Well, you not either. Go bitch. crazy. Tom plus. Yeah, you not either, bitch. You know what I'm talking about? No, I'm playing. <laughs> but yeah, man. Long story short, and we nigga talk, trying to I'm expand the beat. Uncle Wax with two X's. Two of them. You know what I'm saying? Two of Two of them. <coughs> two of them. Great person and great artist. How would you there. spell that, bro? What? Two of them? Um, two of them. Damn. I, I you gave, said um, I, though. I, but so I'm like two T-W-O. I, I was going to say, I gave you the T-W-O. You, you don't say uh. You can't say uh. You ain't, ain't no F oh, in two of them. Oh. Um, <laughs> um, 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 spell it, nigga. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Damn, I'm trying. Oh, 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 what the fuck? Hey, put in the comments why y'all spell two of them. <laughs> two of them, man. Make sure to like and subscribe and share, and two click that them, post man. notification thing. <laughs> hey, I want to do a public service announcement. Two of them. You can do We've two been of them. um. We've been drinking a little bit. Yeah, man. It so was I'm feeling. So I'm feeling. I'm feeling. I'm Slight feeling. A, I'm feeling a call to action, man. <laughs> These little fucking vapes right here, bro. <laughs> this a new crack, nigga. And while I'm looking at my hand, my hand red. <laughs> like the devil talking to me. And he's doing this like these two little. Two, two, two. I'm like, stop smoking these hoes, the y'all. <laughs> We are going anti-Escobar, <laughs> anti-vape, nigga. <laughs> I want the opposite of a sponsor. Pay me to denounce you, nigga. <laughs> he broke. this ain't it. This is funny. <laughs> this shit is too convenient to smoke, nigga. I don't even... It ain't even the fact that I like the way this whole tastes. <laughs> this is the first time I heard that my... <laughs> now nigga, somebody like, nah, niggas I got to I don't want look, no look, sponsors. Look, bro. <laughs> this is our dare segment. This is our dare segment. <laughs> Yeah, dare to stop vaping, nigga. Yeah, dare. Fuck I'm drugs. trying to do the letters, but fuck yeah. drugs, nigga. Dare to stop vaping, bro. Cause this <laughs> shit ain't it. 
I'm, 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 I'm just I'm smart enough to know it's a catch to this shit, bro. Yeah, we don't we ain't noticing no. Bro, they can, we ain't noticing no side effects now. Style, they, exactly. They can't, they can't, we ain't, not, we ain't noticing no side effects now. Cigarettes forever, bro. Wait about wait about wow, fifteen make years. Look cool for these youngsters. This shit gonna make your kids grow like a third eye or something, like a literal one, not Man, no spiritual one. Gonna your kids gonna have another eye. Little Ninja Turtle kid. That's bro. what they're gonna have. This shit ain't good. <laughs> Stop smoking these hoes, yo. It's the first time. I've been drinking, so. I've been drinking. Unfortunately. Gusto. I'm not yeah, wanting to talk right now, man. I feel bad. That's why, I just, so that's why I'm like, talking uh, about this. I want to be held accountable, y'all. <laughs> so what's your, like, rock, non-rock, not, not rock, non-rap genre on your phone? Mm. Like, what was You said Sade. The main thing would be either jazz or alternative. Like, I, elevator I, music? Mm. You be on there with like, tea. Bring that shit back, bro. I'm waiting for Spectrum. Elevator music mostly be like instrumentals. I'm just playing. Turbo! This is nigga named Benny Sings. Come here. Hey, he did come like a dog. Come on. Cats don't listen enough for me, bro. Nah, he's gonna get up on the podcast today. Turbo, turbo, turbo. turbo. He not fucking with you, bro. Yeah, bro, he's trying to stay fresh over there. Hey, hold on. Uh, Right before we on the podcast, he was gonna play... Some, oh, he's finna play some Carter 2 shit. That was on your mind for the podcast? Bro, if I play something on the podcast, it's gonna be my music. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying that's what you was finna play before the show. Oh, yeah, I was. Yeah, before the pregame. I'm but now, about like, now that the camera on. Oh, yeah. Now, no, that, no, I'm, fact, now fact, that we've been right. on camera and I'm talking and I'm 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 in my shit talking mode, I'm only playing music. Oh, yeah, we, we, go, we ain't gonna play that, but you can spit a verse, though. Real dick. It's- Whoa. If you want to. Real dick. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Hey, and he didn't fuck up. Right, right, smooth. I thought he was gonna fuck Whoa. up. Oh, Quinn, Quinn spit one too? Damn, I ain't edited his yet. Whoa. Damn, That's I didn't even crazy. know that for real. You know what? Hey, do me a favor, bro. <laughs> if I'm finna spit this verse, put that camera, you you shooting extra oh, footage. Oh, this angle here, to huh? you right here? Put that, put that shit by Steve. If I'm gonna spit this word, yeah. No, not mm. on him, but I'm saying like over here. Like that other angle, yeah. Cause I'm finna that angle, yeah. Yeah. I'm finna put the captions on it like my nigga LaRussell. Shout oh, out yeah, to Russell oh, yeah, from Vallejo. Cool. We putting captions on this. We can get the Kobe back there too, man. Goat shit. Dope, dope, dope. What? Oh, this is this a this is exclusive dope angle right here. <laughs> hey, what's happening with Steve, man? Man, put in the an, comments. Or an exclusive throat angle. <laughs> exclusive throat angle. I need a fucking make a throat ass hashtag sister for this. That's why I fuck with you. I'm trying to find. That's this. gonna be a. Yo, what what did we say in the I car? Need, I need the acronyms. Um, when we was leaving. Oh, uh, Uncle Wax, little little no scrape. Oh, little no scrape. <laughs> yeah, hey, shout <laughs> Uncle Wax, little no scrape. Hey. Uncle if Wes, you ain't, if you gotta no ask him, you don't gotta know. Little no scraping in this hole, man. Bro. Come on, man. Niggas no not. Scrape. Niggas not. I'm glad you. Now we got it on camera, so we'll never forget. Little no scraping. <laughs> I was, I was trying to find that song that I was gonna play before this bitch oh. came on, and I can't think of what it was. You gotta spit it right now. Oh, no, I forgot about that hoe. Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. go ahead. You can spit it right there. I didn't know what you were talking about. I know. Like, I th- oh, about no, I was, about a, I was talking about I was talking about Yeah. Bro, I went back to a way earlier topic. I told you, I'm smacked. Uh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get Turbo on there. You know I'm scared of cats. Bro. I'm going to hang on, jump on. I'm just getting them in the front. them nails, bro. Yeah, I told you it's going to make an appearance. It's spit, man. You can't even see your shit, man. Don't, come on, man. Don't worry about it. <laughs> OG Turbo, man. All right, look. It's fat ass. Yeah, get your ass off the camera. All right, go ahead. <laughs> look. Oh, right, hold on, hold on. Let me turn this out like this. This ain't going to fall, is it? All right, we good. Nah, Damn, Turbo. Don't 